Now in this video, we have to solve some example problems on decimal to binary conversion. Okay. Now we go for first example. Convert 52 base 10 to binary equivalent number using the double double method. To convert this given binary decimal integer number into equivalent binary integer number, we have to use successively division by 2 method until the quotient is 0. Once the quotient is 0 is obtained, the remainders can be read from bottom to top. Then we are getting the equivalent decimal binary integer number per decimal integer number. Okay, now we have to take 52. So 52 decimal integer number is converted into equivalent binary integer number. We, for that purpose, we have to use successive division by 2 method. So now 2 divides 52 26 times remainder is 0. 2 divides 26 13 times remainder is 0. 2 divides 13 6 times remainder is 1. 2 divides 6 3 times remainder is 0. 2 divides 3 1 time remainder is 1. 2 divides 1 0 times remainder is 1 okay the successive div in successive division by 2 method the given decimal integer number is uh, successively divided by 2 until the quotient is 0 okay whenever the quotient 0 is obtained now we have to read the remainders from bottom to top so from bottom to top remainders, first 1, second 1, third 0, fourth remainder 1, fifth remainder 0, sixth remainder 0. So this is the equivalent binary integer number for the decimal integer number. Okay. So for that purpose, we have to use successive division by 2 method. Successive division by two method use. Okay. So now we go for another example problem. So convert one zero five point one five base ten into binary. Okay. So in this one. <coughs> this decimal number contains two parts. One is the uh, integer part and another one is fractional part. Now we have to solve this problem into divided into two sub problem. We have to separate integer part base 10 and we have to separate fractional part 0 0.15 base 10. Now we have to solve these two sub problems separately. Once we are getting the result, then we have to combine these two sub problems. Then we are getting the equivalent binary number. Okay, so this is the sub problem one and this is the sub problem two. So we have to solve these two sub problems individually. Once we are getting the result, then we have to combine the result of two sub problems. Then we are getting the equivalent binary number for the given decimal number. Okay, now we go for 105. So 105, 105 divides 2. So 52 times remainder is 1. Okay. 2 divides 52, 26 times, so remainder is 0. Okay. 
2 divides 26, 13 times the remainder is 0. 2 divides 13, 6 times the remainder is 1. 2 divides 6, 3 times the remainder is 0. 2 divides 3, 1 time the remainder is 1. 2 divides 1, 0 time the remainder is 1. Okay, now we have to use so successive division by 2 method. Successive division by 2 method. In this method, the given decimal number successively divided by 2 until the quotient is 0. Okay. Once the quotient 0 is obtained, we have to read the remainders from bottom to top. So, remainders read from top to bottom. From, sorry, from bottom to top. Bottom to top. Okay. So now, 1, next one is 1, next one is 0, next one is 1, next one is 0, next one is 0, next one is 1. So this is base 2 for the by decimal number 105 base 10. Okay. For that purpose, we have to use successive division by 2 method. Now we go for second sub problem. So 0 0.15. So 0 0.15 is multiplied by 2 is equal to 0 0.30. We have to separate the integer part that is 0. Okay. Now 0 0.30 into 2 that is equal to 0 0.60. Integer part is 0. Now 0 0.60 into 2 so that is equal to 1.20 separate the integer part 1 remaining fraction part 0 0.20 into 2 that is equal to 0 0.40 here integer part is 0 now 0 0.40 into 2 is equal to 0 0.80 here fraction integer part is 0 now, 0 0.80 into 2 is equal to 1.60. Separate the integer part. The remaining fraction part is 0 0.60 into 2. That is equal to 1.20. Separate the integer part 1. The remaining fraction part 0 0.20 into 2. That is equal to 0 0.40. Here, the integer part is 0. Okay. Here the same thing is repeated. Okay. So at that time, so there is no, here the integer part is 0, but fraction part does not get 0 value. Okay. Whenever the same sequence is repeated, then we have to stop that procedure and read the integer parts from integer parts from top to bottom, top to bottom, okay. So top to bottom here, 0, next one is 0, next one is 1, next one is 0, next one is 0, next one is 1, 1, 0. So this is the equivalent binary number for the fraction part, so that is 0 0.15, 0 0.15 base 10. Okay, so this is the second sub problem. Second sub problem. So this is first sub problem. First sub problem. Okay. 
once we are getting the result of two sub problems then we have to combine them so the result is equal to is equal to so 105.15 base 10 is equal to integer part result is 1101001.5 decimal part result so 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. this is the equivalent this equivalent binary integer number for the given decimal integer number oh. so here this is first sub problem the first sub problem result is this one the second sub problem the second sub problem result is this one now we have to combine these two sub problems result for getting the original answer okay so 105 plus 0 0.15 that is 105.15 base 10 is equal to so this problem result is this one and this problem result is this one then we have to combine by using the decimal point so this is the integer part result and this is the fractional part result okay so for this given decimal number uh, this is the equivalent binary number okay now we go for another example problem 